What's going on, everyone? Z-Man the Tech here. And thanks again for tuning in to Snowly Games. Um, with great pleasure, I'm excited to announce that I finally got my 3D print for the Pi Girl 2 version 1.2 or 3. I can't remember. Um, it's definitely the Pi Girl 2, though. Um, I'm excited. I A really clean print. Um, thoroughly pleased with it. And very excited to get going. Um, as you can see, you know, you got the L and R buttons on the back. And on the side here, on the left side, we have on the bottom is going to be a power switch. And the top is going to be a volume wheel. And then, uh, you know, for the buttons on the side, those pertain to where this, you know, basically the screen controls. And, uh, you know, D-pad, face buttons, you know, the whole nine speaker and then your charge port on the bottom. Um, yeah, but I'm really excited to finally be taking this leap um, into such a DIY project of this level. Um, granted, you know, there, there have been some improvements since the last Pi Girl model um, that make it um, significantly uh, less of a challenge, but, you know, there's still some still some hard hardware handiwork that needs to be done as far as soldering, things like that. Um, but definitely a lot easier than the uh, original build, uh, which I thought about doing that one too, but I was like, you know what? I like this form factor. I want to make the ultimate Game Boy. Um, or build it, rather, uh, because this actually is a, um, a 3D printed model uh, basically created by um, Adafruit, as well as the kit that is needed to uh, put it together and have it functional. Um, sadly, <laughs> that particular kit is um, it's hardly in stock whenever I look, and uh, that was almost a, detra a detractor for me, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I figured I would, I want to take that leap. I want to get this thing built. Um, I'm, I'm thoroughly excited about it. And, uh, yeah, actually let's go ahead and open it up and, uh, we'll show you. It's just basically just, uh, the placement of everything and where the screws are going to go. But, uh, one second here. All right. So basically, as you can see, it's just, um, everything It's the placement of everything. Like I said, um, where the screws are going to go. Um, but yeah, um, that's really all I can show as far as the innards uh, before everything actually gets put in. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so another cool thing about it is it's actually snap fit. Um, you know, there's, like I said, there's screws as far as, you know, the buttons and, and the Raspberry Pi itself and the, and the screen and everything like that as far as mounting. Um, but taking it apart is going to be really awesome because it's actually snap fit. Um, pretty excited about that. Uh, granted, there shouldn't be too much I need to... Uh, open it up again for honestly i mean once i once i get the initial build done i i plan on making it to where it's like i i really don't need to get in there too much um because you really don't have to i mean you got the ports on the side here as well for your you know the multiple usb and then the uh your you know your network port so um there's really honestly no reason to be up in it um so, but yeah, I'm, I'm, man, I, I tell you, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, it took a little longer than it, what it should have because I accidentally ordered from someone in all the way in Spain <laughs> via Etsy and did not realize it. Um, so yeah, definitely noted, uh, I'll pay more close attention to, uh, where I'm, who and where I'm ordering from, um, when it comes to uh, getting things from Etsy. Uh, but there are quite a few of local and just quite a few, uh, I guess, channels or, or pages or companies that uh, offer the service via Etsy. So, um, yeah, definitely pay attention to that if you uh, are planning on taking this leap as I have. Um, but, yeah, uh, not going to get too much into it. Um, it's going to be a while before I can get these parts. Uh, depends on how fast Adafruit can restock the supply for the full kit of this. Um but yeah, um, definitely appreciate all the support, uh, uh, definitely all the newcomers, uh, definitely look forward to more content, uh, uh various content. I try to cover uh, a lot of areas, um, but mainly what it is that I like to do, um, and kind of what's trending at the moment. I try to do that as well, but, uh, you know, I want to be as unique as I can. So definitely thank, thank you for, um, you know, uh, providing that subscription and, uh, I hope you feel that you, you know, get everything out of it. Um, I, I will definitely continue to put as much content out as I can. Um, yeah. And of course for, uh, 
everyone that stuck through in the beginning when I first started the channel. Definitely, definitely appreciate you um, for all the support, whether it's, you know, just dropping by to give it a view or or leaving a like or a comment. It means the world. So, but anywho, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. <laughs> Excited for the Pie Girl 2 build. Um, definitely stay tuned in. I will try to update with... Um, you know, progress videos and pics and things like that via the Twitter or, and, and my website as well. Um, you know, once I'm able to, you know, completely get started. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely appreciate you and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.